go to item number 15, which is a consideration of a proposal to locate and build a dirt BMX bicycle track at 200 West Haven Lane in the single family residential and rural estates residential zones. Possible action, uh, Mr. Haven, your light is on. I just want to make, uh, for, for the record, um, I do have own shares in the Bunkerville Irrigation Company and the land that uh, is being talked about here is owned by the Bunkerville Irrigation Company. I am not going to recuse myself because there's no financial benefit in any way to the Bunkerville Irrigation Company. And so I am going to uh, hear the item and vote on the item. Thank you, Mr. Hayden. Any further comment from council? Mr. Green. Yeah, I've uh, looked at the staff uh, memo on this thing and I just don't understand why that uh, property across from the, from the rec center is in a more appropriate location. Especially now that that property will be uh, enlarged with the with the land trade that we approved earlier in the meeting, I see the the cons for that site were busy street, blind curve. I think that, that also exists at 200 uh, West Haven Road. There is a that is a busy street uh, uh, with a blind curve. The billboard there was listed as a possible nu nuisance close to the I-15 freeway, while the Haven Road lot is closer close to the Virgin River. That's a uh, hazard as I see it. And then the potential opportunity cost if somebody wanted to buy or uh, use that land across from the rec center. But I think we're talking about a, a trial thing on this. So uh, the combination of the complaints I saw from the city residents from the, from the nearby residents, I just I just think the rec center side is a much better side. Thank you, Mr. Green. And before I take additional comments from council, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Seacrest, I kind of overshot you. And uh, if you have any comment, because it's your item, Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem, members of council. Um, last November, you heard the matter of the conditional use permit for the BMX track down on 850 West Haven, and, and that was denied. Following that denial, the council directed staff to uh, consider the site across Old Mill Road from the rec center, 49 West Old Mill. And uh, an informal staff committee was put together. We sat down to, to evaluate that site and make recommendations. Um, and along with that, we, we looked at some other sites. Um, let's go to the next slide. Um, it's kind of hard to see, I guess, again, with the uh, fading of the slide, but here's the here's the property in question, right across from the rec center. We've shown in red uh, the entire 3.34 acres uh, based on the land trade that we've discussed earlier this evening. The city already had one acre of land there, and, and with the trade, it would put it to 3.34 acres, so we've shown that. But basically, we looked at this site. There's a lot of things going for it, uh, centrally located. Uh, in an area where there's a lot of kids uh, close to the rec center. Um, it's now, it's, it's even larger size, so there's room to, to do this facility. And of course, the, the nice thing, the biggest plus, I guess, about this site is that there's no homes around it, or at least not close to it. But we, we were concerned about some of the safety issues. The blind curve, kids constantly crossing the street, you know, proximity to the freeway, the billboard, and so forth. Uh, the committee felt, well, I'll look at some other sites. So we did. Go to the next one. Uh, this was one of the other sites considered, 415 West Old Mill, just north of the elementary school. Um, it's a 2.33 acre site. And it has, again, some pluses. Again, it's centrally located. There's a lot of kids in this neighborhood, probably used. Um, close to the school, there are bicycle parking facilities at the, at the school, etc. Um, but there's also homes adjoining the site. Uh, we were concerned we have kind of the same issue that we encountered out on 850 West. Um, the school has always wanted this site for a drop off, pickup zone, um, and, and cars do that now for, you know school. So we thought maybe we ought to keep looking next. And so the site at 200 West, um, Haven, 
Nathan Lane was proposed, uh, the big site. It's a larger parcel, uh, over five acres and fairly deep. Um, we thought that, you know, uh, BM extract could be placed uh, deep into the site, further away from homes. It's already surrounded on three sites by undeveloped property. Um, again, fairly centrally located, close to Hafen Park, the Roadrunner Trail, Pulsiver Park. Um, and we're prepared to recommend that site. Uh, and even gone so far as to talk to Bunkerville Irrigation. Uh, they gave kind of a preliminary go ahead to consider this site. Um, we also, however, sent out notices to property owners across the street in the Southern Heights subdivision. Uh, based on the response we saw earlier uh, further west on Haven. And so we wanted to notify these owners and make sure that they were aware before doing anything or entering into any lease agreements. And that resulted in the, in the emails and the letters that I forwarded to you from some of the homeowners in that subdivision opposed to this proposal. Um, so that, you know, this site kind of fell into the same issue that we encountered before. And at this point, uh, you know, I'm prepared to recommend the council direct staff to either go back and seriously consider the 49 West Old Mill or continue the search for other appropriate sites. Um, next. Now let's get past that. That was just a concept site. Well, going back to 49 West here. Let's go to the next slide. This is a view uh, west on Old Mill. It kind of shows the the blind curve is your, this is the street just in front of the rec center, and probably where you'd encounter a crossing. Um, it's close to the driveway on the other side of the street, this side. But you have a hard time seeing what's coming too far down the road. Next. And this is kind of the same location, but it shows the, the curb cut that exists into the side, and of course the billboard. Next. This up close shot of the billboard, you know, because this was an issue that was brought up, I contacted uh, Ray Draper of Young Electric Sign Company and talked to him about it. He didn't seem too concerned about, uh, you know, kids trying to climb up the ladder that, uh, the ladder up to the sign structure begins about 12 feet up. Um, he felt it was pretty be pretty difficult to climb. His main concern was maintaining access for the, the sign company to get in and out and maintain the sign. Um, apparently, there have been other billboards close by the rec center property in years past that uh, had no problems that way. So maybe that was an issue that the staff was concerned about that really didn't need to be, or at least perhaps not as much. But given. Uh, also, given Councilman Rapson's comments at the tech review, uh, the questions he raised about improvements that could, could be made, we started thinking about what kind of things could be done to mitigate any, any issues. Well, at least in terms of the sign, you know, that could be fenced off, uh, at least from the BMX part, so that the kids uh, don't have such an easy time getting there. But again, I'm not sure that's a big, big issue. Um, the site is also close to the free whip. It's about 20 to 25 feet below. It's fenced. Um, again, I'm not sure there's too much that uh, could be done to change, to change that. I'm not sure it's a huge safety issue. The primary concern, I guess, is that blind curve and kids constantly crossing the street using the site. But again, the intent here was to do this on a trial basis see if it's even used. Um, you know, if it is, determine what, what permanent improvements might need to be made here or elsewhere, and uh, take a look at how it goes. So if the council wants to consider this site, direct us to put together some plans. I think Mr. Tanner also came prepared to talk about some potential improvements. If, to address some of the safety issues.